Hey everybody, thanks for joining me again, Blue here. Uh, we're going to do the third installment of our Art of Fire. The third part is the fire building itself. Um, this is a fire lay. It's a, I, like a modified log cabin. I just leave the front off. Pretty much you just build a structure. There's you see the TP kind, you know, just whatever. Pretty much all it has to do is be able to get a fire started in it, have airflow through the side, and you're able to feed it fuel. Um, bigger fuel for the actual structure itself. And over here I got my uh, kindling. And over here I got some extra fuel. Um, what I like to do when I build this is I'll actually put a roof on it. Get sticks that'll just go across using the fuel. And then I like to lay my kindling on there. So the kindling is the stuff that's the size of your pinky or a pencil or smaller. Fuel is thumb to your wrist and so on. Uh, you want to get enough fuel for what you're wanting to do. If you're wanting to stay out all night. You want to make sure you have enough fuel to keep burning all night if you need to be warm. If you're just wanting to boil water, the 15 to 20 minutes worth of fuel will work. A couple hours cook food, whatever it is you need, just make sure you have enough fuel for it. I've got enough fuel here, I could probably cook a decent sized meal. I'm not, I'm just using this as an example. So I got my bird's nest over here. I got, um, I got some cotton rounds that I dipped in wax just to speed up the process. I got some shaved fat wood. I, uh, here's a piece of fat wood, but I had a smaller one around here. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I shaved it off this small piece of fat wood that I found. So I'm gonna use my flint and steel. <clears throat> Again, the char cloth and the fire starter is the flint and steel. Pretty much like I said in the fire starter episode, find a sharp edge and hit it with your flint or your steel, hit your flint with your steel and throw sparks. So the char cloth in there. And you want to catch an ember. There we go. Took more times than I like, but it worked. Put this in my bird's nest. Towards like bottom. Yeah. Once you get your fire going, fire travels up. We'll go ahead and dump the fat wood in there. I'm trying to show you guys without burning myself. Uh, it's a lot bigger than what I was expecting. Pretty much, like I said, you'd have that on there. Kind of difficult to do that with that big bird's nest. But what you want to do is start feeding the kindling to it. I would normally be on that side, but showing you guys how to do this. So you don't want to smother it, but you want to give it enough 
stuff to burn. And you hope your bird's nest lasts long enough to get your kindling going. point when everything's burning pretty decent then you can start adding your bigger fuel again the drier the better and again you don't want to put everything on there and smother any smother it either because you can still smother it out So here's the fire blazing. You can see it's starting to burn down the coals. Be getting ready to be good to cook over. It's a decent size, so therefore if you had you know one or two people could stay warm around it in a cool night. If it was winter time, you definitely want a bigger and possibly longer fire to All right, everybody, I want to thank you for joining me on this uh, series, The Art of Fire. I hope you appreciated it, learned something. Uh, down in the comments, comment how you like to start fire, what kind of fire lay you like to build, tender you like to use, and your fire starter of choice. Uh, if you got any ideas for other videos, go ahead and comment below also. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to follow me along with our journey. Again, thanks for watching. Remember, Enjoy the outside.